Hello guys, this is Big Fish, and on today's video, we're going to be showcasing the Mermaid class as in Corsair. Um, for a long time, a lot of people have been asking me, is Corsair still viable? Is Corsair still strong? Uh, why did you put her so high in the list? Her passive is trash, everything is trash. Well, there is some kind of excuse that I want to put here, and I think this video would be a good... Um, a good proof that what I'm saying that I am a person who does have a very high responsibility on what things I say because a lot of people use me and uh, whatever I say as a note and so I will explain to you why this class is really good right now and then maybe we can jump into some arenas later so first we need to understand that this class in total has around three super armor being this one and then this one and this one this thing actually uh, has two instances we'll just look into that in a bit after the cooldown has been reset like so bam two hits yeah so in total this class has three super armor and two of them having very low cooldown this riding wave this skill it looks here in the skill icon it has 7 second cooldown, but unfortunately this is wrong. This is actually 5 seconds. This thing has 11 seconds, but most of the time it's underground and you can kind of choose when to go out, when to go in. So it's actually a very low cooldown skill. Because you, because the cooldown starts the moment you start the skill, not after it finishes. And lastly is the descending tide, which is this one, 8 second cooldown. This one will soon be reduced to 6 seconds. So this class have a 5 second cooldown, a 6 second cooldown, and an 11 second cooldown. In which, pretty much, her super armor could be maintained almost 24-7. Almost, she does have some drawbacks in which she will not be able to continuously repeat that 24-7 rotation. However, these, this class in particular has really awesome kit. And I think we all can agree that, that Corsair has arguably one of the best coverage in the game. This skill is pretty much a rush type skill. There's nothing that good about the class uh, skill. It's pretty much normal. It's just a dash. It's a rush type skill to close distance. This skill, on the other hand, as you can see, lasts very long. And it, the cooldown kind of stops around maybe around here. I'll just put the... Uh, I'll just put... It's probably around here. So if we're gonna put that into threes, put in put a line in between half, so that's like 5.5, and that's pretty. And you know, if if the middle part is sick, it's like five and a half seconds, and the cooldown starts at around six, which means that the, it's pretty much a five second duration of purely iframe and super armor at that duration. We'll just repeat that again, so you can see when the cooldown actually stops. I'll say here when the cooldown stops. It's up there, right? So give or take, the super armor stops around here. Maybe a little, maybe a little bit more towards this area. So pretty much, this is this thing has roughly, effectively about a five second cooldown or six, maybe more like six second cooldown. So it's a six second cooldown effective, and this descending tide. Is probably the longest cooldown skill in the game uh, for this class at least and the riding waves is set seven seconds but if you look into the skill again and you look at the timer this thing says seven seconds but actually it's not seven seconds it's actually five I'll show you guys just sit over here if you look at other skills the cooldown starts at the very top right like so yeah now, if you go into the riding waves, it'll actually not start from the top left. I mean, it will not start from the top right, but actually from the right around maybe 4 o'clock. Like so. Yeah? It's a very low cooldown skill. You can look into this, uh, you can look into the, uh, you can look at the cooldowns over here on the skill. And I will use the skill again, and you can see the cooldown when it actually starts. Bam! Over there, yeah? It starts over here, give or take. So give or take, effective cooldown is only about four, four seconds. And this one is probably the longest one. Yep, that's pretty much where it 
where the cooldown starts. So give or take, this, this class have really good super armor. And what really helps is this skill is an iframe by itself, and it turns to super armor when it come out. And this you can you 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 can choose when you want to come out, and you can choose where to come out from. You can use this skill as an escape. You can use this skill as an engage. You can use the skill as a way to outplay grabs. There are so many different ways that you can use this particular skill. This is one of the reasons why it's very difficult to dry out a Corsair because you can use the skill to run away and buy time for the other SA skills to come back off cooldown. As well as this skill. This skill essentially breaks forward guard instantly during the first rush and the second part. The first, uh, the first hit, which is the sliding, the slash, that will instantly break forward guard at around maybe three to four, three to four meters away. So probably from this tree, and if we look into the, uh, if we look straight, it's probably gonna break forward guard until about here. I think yeah, about about till here. Yep, around that distance. It's a very far FG break skill, so it's very very nice. As well as the damage, if you're talking about the damage, there is a way to make this class hit hard. I will share to you later the combo that I'm currently using, what I think is a good combo. You can use that later on um, for damage. I can give my final verdict that this class can deal roughly about 70% in one combo. This combo is not that risky, I would say. It's not very risky. It deals roughly around 70% 70, 70 to a Yacha. Maybe almost 80% to a Fletcher, given the right combo. Uh, basically, it will deal pretty much 80% 80, 80 to almost any class without PvP damage reduction and deals only about 60% to 70% on classes with, depending on how high the damage reduction is. But give or take, this class is extremely good, especially for same CP matchups. For whale hunting, I wouldn't say this class is that good, but this class does have its shines with the right combo this class can still deal devastating damage the only issue is you have to land the combo from either pirate tricks or the riding waves if you start a combo from flying wave or descending tide the, the combo will be limited uh, the damage will only start from a knockdown but by itself this class deals quite good damage um, i don't know I, I don't know who that guy was but uh thank you for uh coming by and <laughs> say hello all right uh, that's gonna be about the showcase for the skills. If you guys want to copy my uh, my set, I will share to you guys my set. This is my set. Uh, regarding the flows and all that, I'll just show you guys here. This class have really low hit. Ferocious Wave only has two hits, so going for Serret is not really that good either because it doesn't hit very hard, and you don't really need to hit a lot of people. All is often the best choice. Wave Slicer, I'm actually planning on using this skill a lot more, but I thought to myself that this skill has less uses compared to Pirate Tricks. This thing can be used for disengage for a lot of different reasons, and that, that's kind of the reason why I chose to use Pirate Tricks instead of the um, Wave Slasher. Actually, using Wave Slasher can make you deal more damage, but I don't think that the, the, damage, the extra damage is that necessary. Uh, for judgment of we judgment of the sea, this thing hits twice. Although there's, I'll probably prefer getting Le Brief or Al, but this thing only has a hip instead. Of it, so we're gonna be using a hip instead. Uh, Whirling waters. This skill is pretty much you probably will not use the skill. The skill is not that good. The damage is quite minimal. But um, overall, I think the I think it has some uses, although not too much. Judgment of the sea is somewhat better as um, as a skill. Yeah. Pretty much. Next is riding waves. This thing is yeah, pretty much it. You wanna uh, turn off the flow parting waters because it doesn't apply in the arenas. And then there is um, yeah, reduce MP cost and all that. It's not really a big deal. Flying wave, pretty much the same. This is pretty much a PVE skill, so I don't like, I don't really expect you to use this skill at all. Although I probably have, I probably see that there's some uses for this skill in the future, but. Maybe we can make some cool sets uh, with this, but for now, we're just gonna stick with the generic ones that I have over here at the right. All right, so next is Descending Tide. I'll, I'll be using all, because there's no way I'm gonna be using Serret. There's like no added damage for there. And also the last one is Pirate Tricks. This is for, for mobility and for uh, guard catches. You can catch people off guard with this thing quite nice. And you can actually separate the first and second hit. You can go like that. 
as you see there you can bait some people into using some skills you can show that you're gonna go back you're gonna go in but then you turn around similar to using uh like frigid burst from the primrose and some other skills like knee hammer you can use that as like a way to uh, bait people using their skills it's pretty nice uh low cooldown as well so very spammable only about five second cooldown very very nice this thing decreases uh, movement speed if it hits someone, but I, I wouldn't say it's that good. Damage is pretty low. Uh, increased movement speed, this thing is pretty nice. And finally, it's the Soaring Tide. This skill deals more damage than you guys think. This is level 1 skill, and it's already dealing roughly around 1700% damage. I mean, 1900% damage. So, um, very, very good. You will use this skill as well for your combo. I will show you guys later on how to actually apply this. And finally, just a buff, 50 attack, not bad. Now, let's talk about this, Plunder. Plunder attacks the enemy and steal away their buffs. Plunder AP DP on hit. Increase own AP DP by 20 for 10 seconds. Increase AP DP enhancement effect will apply separately. Increase damage to other adventurers and decrease damage on other, other adventurers effect 5%. So this thing essentially has 5% PvP plus minus and actually it's not that good un until you look at the bottom if you plunder a target it increases ap dp enhancements but debuff so people cannot get buffs and in normal arenas where people buffs those buffs really matter a lot because in normal arenas you have same cp and just getting 20 cp or 30 cp or 40 cp is a big deal especially when skills are kind of level 10 in normal normal arenas it can really benefit you and being able to stop someone from getting dp and ap buffs and also getting more for yourself it's actually a really good thing next is um it's available for 10 seconds so it's quite nice but it's easy to reapply so it's uh, quite nice and also it decreases an enemy's ap and dp by 20 which is quite a big deal and increase damage to other adventures decrease damage from the adventures by minus 5% so if it, so essentially if I can get this thing right, um, increase damage to other adventurers and decrease damage from adventurers minus five percent. So it's give or take. Enemies will ha will be ten percent more uh, vulnerable to uh, damage increase from you, and also you get ten percent. So roughly, this is actually a ten percent PVP plus minus. Give or take is about the same, but because it's percentage based, if you actually break someone's PvP damage reduction is gonna be even worse for the enemy because it's it stacks like by percentage So this will definitely hurt more so you basically make people weaker and you make yourself stronger and And people just become a lot more soft and you hit harder as well So if you're talking like this thing is bad or whatsoever, you're wrong. This skill is really good All right, this thing is really really nice and um, yeah, I would say that uh, it might not be the best, but 10% plus minus is already good enough. Some classes don't even have any. Like if you look at like Fletcher, it, it, it has nothing. Uh, you look at other classes, it's got nothing. So this is actually good. Primrose only got like 10% and pretty much non-existent in, uh, like not in, in the arenas. Because there's no way you're going to be using absolute zero in the arenas and trade with that. So for sure, this passive is quite nice guys it's quite nice it's not bad at all so please stop saying that it's bad and stuff all right so i think we've been talking for 13 minutes about the skill set and everything let's just jump into the arenas i haven't really played this class in a long time i think the last time i played this class was uh, during the time when it was released probably i played a little bit around december but i haven't really played any uh course there anymore but i just want to show you guys a little bit on how to play the class all right sora I wish that we can meet someone of a higher rank, but I kind of need to uh, brush up because I haven't played this class in a bit. I made a mistake. I haven't pressed the... Alright, we're just gonna bait this thing out. Alright. As you see there, I'm almost immune 24-7. Okay, so far not too bad. The lingers are also quite nice on flying wave and the setting tight. The, the, those skills have very good lingers. Also, the the evasion of this class is really good iframe, so you can work with that. 
Alright, it's Reaper now. A lot of in Invis classes lately. Getting more popular, probably thanks to Cars. We've been playing the Reaper a lot. Now I'll probably try to showcase you uh, the proper combo. As you see there, the iframe is very, very long on this skill. Okay, I messed up on that one. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have one more charge of uh, Judgment of the Sea, so I couldn't do a full combo there, but... I should catch it here. Dive in. One of the problems to why people suffer against Corsair a lot is actually because you never know when I'm gonna come out from the flying wave. I can play around that tempo, I can force you to use your skills by making it longer, being being under underwater, and I can force you to use most of your skills. And sometimes I can change the tempo a bit by coming out instantly so it catches you off off guard if I think that you're starting to feel my my rhythm. Alright, we're against a spirit walker. Essentially, this should be pretty easy if the Spirit Walker is uh, FG set, but if this Spirit Walker is... Alright, I'll play around this a little bit and catch. You can see there, I'm almost immune 24-7. Catch him again here. I'm gonna keep on swimming and forcing him to keep using skills. Yep, very, very good class. I probably could have played that so much better if I just uh, disengaged a little bit, but I kinda wanna show you yes, guys just how not difficult this class is to learn probably against better 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 players you probably need to try hard a little bit more but for sure if you're saying that this class is bad it's not true this class is still very very strong i probably should have just committed there but it's fine yeah probably could have done that all right That's my bet. That's my bet. I probably could have played it a lot better. But as I told you, I haven't really played this class in a long time. I'm gonna throw him off here. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna catch him here, yep. Yep, that's just right enough. I probably could have played that better but it's completely fine. Um, the punish windows of this class is not very high, so uh, it's quite nice. Um, against uh, Gladi, I would say it's okay. A lot of people told me to start using the Soaring Wave like a lot more freely and stuff, but I don't think that that's necessary because you're punishable when you're casting it, you know? Against Gladi, I'll probably do this. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna appear behind him like so. It's very hard. You might think like, oh, this Gladi is bad and stuff. But I'll be real with you. This thing, this thing is hard to play against, guys. Like when I'm doing this, he don't know what to do, you know? Because it's very hard to punish. Like here, I'm just gonna wait. Break the shield instantly. Instantly break the shield. It's just really, really good. I think if I play a little bit more slowly, if I 
kind of like try my best to actually win. I think this class, this, I would look much, I, w- I can make it look much better. I will try, um, when I'm against someone who's a lot better, I'll probably try to uh, play a lot more slowly. Okay, we're against a Yacha. Alright, grab opening. I can probably get away with one of this. Alright, confuse him a little bit. As you can see, the damage is quite nice. It's not bad at all. We'll wait for him to make a mistake. I will disengage over here, run away. Yeah, it's not very hard, guys. It's really, really not, 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 it's not very hard to play Corsair. Like most of your SA does have anti grab. They either have anti grab or FG break. Very, very good skills. Uh, very good disengage, very good engage. Overall, this class is just a solid class. I'm gonna try bait him here. It's not gonna reach. Gonna use this. All right, grab has been baited. I probably could have just used evasion there, but I think I played it wrong. I will always start like using the riding waves and I can trade with this setting tight whenever I deem it necessary. You see, I'm changing my rhythm a lot more so he can't guess if I'm gonna when I'm gonna come out like I can go like I can start out for much longer and make him waste his skills and once I show him that I want that I'm the kind of player who stalls the flying wave I'll change the tempo and I will come out instantly the next time so it, it catches him like off guard and giving that kind of question in someone's head is it's, it's a very big deal guys like here like this guy is just confused you know he don't know what to do you know he's like questioning when what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna do this and come out and as you can see this class is also really good at trading the Sunning Tide deals a lot of damage. It's just a really, really good skill. Breaks forward guard as well. You can kind of bait like a GM to use like a knee hammer and you would just use like the Sunning Tide the moment you know that they're gonna use like shoulder thrust. Like a lot of those plays can be done. This class is just very flexible and stuff. Like I said, about 60% on a class that has like damage reduction. Very, very good skill. Very, very good class. I'll try to do the full combo on a class that has no damage reduction. I'll try to clip a full combo. I'll try. It's actually not very hard. Um, just You can pretty much play it like in different ways. You can actually, um, I can just show you here what, maybe on this one I'll show you. Oh, I forgot to uh, turn off the flow there. It's my bad. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, I messed up the combo there. Right, I'll make him question a little bit, run. I'll make him run away. Essentially, playing Corsair is all about like playing around your weaknesses. Yep, breaks forward guard instantly. If two skills fail, you just need to come back. 
There's no, there's not really any point in him trying to uh, like bait us here, because we can outstall him. Like so, he don't know what to do, guys. Like, I know that this is a white emblem. This guy is not not the best player in the world, but like, even if you're a good player, you would still question. Like this kind of question mark that you give the opponent. This this gives people confusion. And it really helps like beating better players. Okay, this is against a. Uh, this is against a uh, blade master. I mean, it's a blade master. It's no special class, but still, it's a golden three. And as you can see, he's just bamboozled. He don't know what to do. And to be honest, I don't. I don't really blame him. You know, like this. This class is really annoying. Like, see there, he's just. He's just casually like running away. He don't know what to do guys like i'm telling you this guy don't know what to do because i'm pressuring him just by using the flying wave because he does not know when i'm gonna come out i got hit by the tornado i did not expect that and i know he's gonna use retaliate this way i uh use medicine tide there just before he casted retaliate um Probably it's gonna probably this video is gonna be a lot better if I can fight like a much stronger like opponent Probably someone who's a lot more who's using a lot more broken class Maybe I'll try to look for them But I mean this is still an uncut video in the end. So if we don't meet any it's not really my fault um, Okay, there's a lot of blade blade masters recently I think people are trying to like test it out and stuff people miss playing the, the these classes and I I completely understand uh, Okay, this guy's a rusher. All right Now, I don't know if you guys saw that, but he kind of used up a lot of evasion there. You see, he's just confused. He don't know what to do. I probably could have played that better. I think I underestimate too much because I'm against the Blade Master. It's not the strongest class in the world, and often I underestimate that. I know he's dry. And to be honest, this Judgment of the Sea has really good priority. Like, if you trade, like, Judgment of the Sea with many different skills, uh, non super armor skills, it'll pretty much win most of the time. Most of the time. From testing, I would say that the only ones it's probably priority one. It's not as it's not as broken as like uh, like Twin Fang or like uh, the Phoenix's um, like uh, dive. I mean the Phoenix uh, wings. Oh wait, 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 wait. I, I kind of I haven't turned off the. All right, we're gonna bait him out a little bit. Okay, this guy's confused as hell. This guy's very confused. So I'm gonna try to grab soon. Can't believe they won't track down, but I'm I'm not worried. He's got no he's got no grab. He's dead here. Yep, he's dead. There's nothing he can do. I think he changed his uh, fire plume to a fort guard there on the last second just so you can block it. <laughs> Because he was dying, that's why he took like no damage from the flying wave, but that's fine. By changing it to FG, he's actually making it worse for himself. Alright, against Huntress, so this is now a broken class. Uh, I will try to win this one, but to be honest, no, no promises. Oh, I forgot to turn off the... Quite unlucky there. This guy's just all really, really confused. He don't know what to do. Okay, so I kind of over lingered there. It's my fault. All right, I'm gonna throw him off here. Yep, throw it off. I knew he suddenly got like one evasive explosion shot. 
because he used two in a row just now if you see it's just it's, it's often the little things guys the little things that you that you understand about a class it really helps you to try to beat them because you need to play you need to think about what what someone would do like what is the most logical thing for someone to to pretty much do you know like i think that's that's pretty much how you get better at at, at a class like over there i use my judgment of the sea pretty like openly there because i know when in, in in the state there's nothing that this oh, okay i think i fucked up on my descending tide there i didn't i didn't hold it mechanical errors that's fine all right i'm gonna run away flying wave i'm gonna bait out all of his phoenix wings he's probably gonna start using it soon He's gonna. He's probably got none left now. Yep, he's got none left. I'm gonna use like uh, this thing again. I'm gonna force him to use Phoenix Wings. Yep. <laughs> he's got not. He's got nothing left. He was dry, and he's just confused because the moment I go down into like uh, the flying wave, he, there's nothing he can do. Like literally. She can only hope that she clips me, like, she just hoped that I would come out instantly. Because if I, if I do that, then the, the use of the Phoenix Wings become good. But if I actually, like, held it a little bit... I'm gonna dive inside. Like, he's got no more nightfall. <laughs> All right, that was that, that that was my bad. I'm going to dodge out a little bit. I'll try to bait out the nightfall. Hmm, the big issue against VK is actually the, its ability to, this um, fear of Kama Sylvia is a big issue. Just one bit too much. Oh my god, I think I'm dead here. Very, very nice. Very, very nice play there. I think it's quite hard against uh, against uh, VK. It's really, really hard because it sustains a little bit too much, I think, from uh, the Fear of Como Sylvia. Also, her FG is pretty much un almost un unbreakable with this class, but I will often try my best to uh, break it s somehow. I will try to use my Descending Tide from a lot closer. The problem is this VK is able to completely outstall me as well, and because she has a slow debuff, it kind of helps her a bit. I try to block um, this person's... Oh my god, I think she clipped me at the perfect time there. Very, very nice. I'll try to be more pussy here. I do not know why um, my deciding tide won't 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 break her FG. Although I pretty much I th I'm pretty sure I clipped it from the perfect uh, t the perfect timing there. All right, she's got no more fury. Now it's time for me to. You see how much damage I'm taking from just the fury? And she heals from it. That's why it makes it really hard for me. It's very, very hard to do. I'll try to catch off guard 
uh, with Pyre Tricks maybe when I got the chance. Like when you're against better players, you need to start like changing your tactics and all that. Unfortunately, we can't meet her again. But if we do, I'm probably gonna start like different. Um, I'll try to make different strategies. Okay, all right. What are you doing, sir? I pressed my riding wave there, I swear to god. Alright. I think one of the reasons that uh, Corsair is really good is because it loses very little matchups. I would say like the only things that can really destroy this class is like really classes that are really good at trading. But not really, because this class have like really good like stall. I think the biggest weakness of this class is this classes that can sustain better than her in that regard. Okay, that seemed to work pretty well. Yes, I think I need to change my rotation there a bit. I sort of got press my riding waves there, but that's fine. I'll try to use. Okay. She's not even hitting me, but she's healing from it. That's very unfortunate. Like, if you see there, she don't actually hit me. She just hits the water where I actually went down into. But she's still healing from it. I think that causes me to uh, start losing the trading battle. And there's not really any way that I can outstall VK. Because VK is so good at trading. Okay, never mind. Alright, I'm just gonna start doing this. I'm gonna hold this person. As you can see there, the soaring wave really hurts a lot. I think I messed up there, yeah. I probably shouldn't have used the riding waves. But I don't think it changes the outcome a lot. It's very, very hard. As you see there, it's very hard for a BM to do anything. Not just BM, even, even Yachas. I think it's not very hard. I, I don't think it's very easy. I don't think it's easy for Yacha to kill a Corsair either. This class is just really good at stalling, really really, really good at stuff. I think the only thing that can beat it is like a class can outstall her. Like VK, maybe. I swear to god, I don't know. Like It's like I have no SA there on the riding waves. I got CC'd like instantly into it. I'll dive in, force reduce this. I will come out instantly there. She should be dry here. Yep. And to run away, I'll pressure her. She should be dry here, I think. Yep. I'm just flying wave again, pressure a bit. She's she's really really dry here, guys. Yes, you know she's really dry there. She don't know what to do anymore. That's why she just started spamming her skills, which doesn't even matter because I have tr this flying wave has really good tracking. All right, this is gonna be the last. Uh, this is gonna be the last one for this video. Hopefully we win. If we lose, that's fine. Um, and I hope you guys learned something about Corsair today. I decided to make this video a bit a bit, a bit longer than what I usually like do. Oh my god, I, I forgot to hold the skill, the descending type. I kind of want to change my rhythm a little bit there. I, 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 I wanted to change. I wanted to try a full combo. Oh 
All right. Oh my god, I, th I think I'm dead here. I think I'm dead. Yeah, I think I think I'm dead. I should get a clean hit here. Oh my god. <laughs> That's very unfortunate. Alright, I I thought that I wanted to end the, uh, the video here, but I actually wanted to win for my last fight. So we will try to win this time. Hopefully uh, we win. I'm gonna be using my normal generic combo, the one that we've been using for a while now. All right, feeding swings, baits it. She don't take the bait, all right, that's, that's fine. She should be dry here, yep. She's gonna take damage from the soaring wave if she stayed there. All right, she's gonna use Phoenix Wings here very, very soon. I did not expect her to have left that one. I probably miscalculated the cooldown a little bit. That's fine. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like I'm trying to change the tempo a little bit, so she can't guess what I'm what I'm trying to do. All right, I'm gonna be using this. Fly above, and she should die here if she trades. Yep, there's not really a lot that she can do there. I think she was dry as well. I was dry as well, but she was just one hit away from one of my skills. We'll do one more. I wanted to have a clean victory. At least I want to showcase the full combo at least once. Because, um, we all, we've, I think we've only done it like twice. Um, like the whole, like the whole video. Uh, that's very unfortunate. Alright. I'm gonna dive in, pressure her a little bit. Okay, she thinks that she's safe. That's why she just started doing that. Okay, that's that's very unfortunate. The reach of that skill is just so bonkers sometimes. She can Zumba as well, so I can't just do it. My god, my, my descending tide always seems to, like, um, I need to hold it every single time. Oh my god, that is so bad, man. I think I, I messed up, like, three times there. Uh, first, what what I messed up is, I mispressed the descending tide. I did not press the, the flow, so that's really bad. And then I kind of uh, did not went in when she was dry and, and, I, and I knew about it. That was a very bad performance. I think I could have done better if I had calculated much better. Okay, I'm starting to rack mistakes into mistakes. All right, that's fine. Oh my god, I haven't turned on. I haven't turned off my flow yet. The flow has no. The flow has um, no super armor in the arenas. Nice. Wait, what? Alright. I probably shouldn't have done that. I probably could have landed a full combo there if I had done better. Wait, what? Yep, I've been racking mistakes into mistakes, guys. This is just not not good. Not good at all. Um I should be playing a lot more safe. It's like it's like I'm I'm it's like I'm rushing a little bit too much because the video is about to end. I need to slow down a little bit. I'm starting to rack mistakes into mistakes. Um, let's try that one again. Hopefully we don't mess up this time. Ah oh my god, it's a nova. All right. <laughs> let's see. Okay. Just wait that one a little bit. 
Yep, I got into her back. Play around. <laughs> it's just really really good against these FG type classes. It should be cool too, yeah. The FG grab really helps a lot. Like I think the weakness of this class is not really grabs. It's not really like a, it's not really like a, like stuff like the the only thing that can beat this class is classes that can out sustain her. Uh, classes with really good heals like Warlord, um, Lupa, yeah, Warlord, Lupa, uh, VK. Uh, what else? I don't know about Lancer, but I, I I don't think Lancer can fight this class. I will try to. Uh, get some other classes. I don't want to fight Nova. Nova is a bit too easy. Um, what do I do? Eh? We need to... Oh yeah, I wanted to showcase the full combo, right? Uh, this is not good. This is not good. I keep meeting this Nova again and again and again. Oh, we want to meet a different class. Batteries die. Probably that's why the... Uh, it's getting a bit more chunky, you know? Like uh, the FPS. Alright. 3, 2, 1, go. Should be a different player. Should be a different player now. What in the world, man? All right, uh, we'll try that one again. Been skipping this guy like four or five times. I think, I think he's pissed. <laughs> All right, let's like wait a little bit. Yeah, wait one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Okay. All right. I'm finding Yacha. I will try to land a full combo. I do not promise that I will, but I will try. Okay. Okay, we're gonna use some. What the hell? Okay. Oh, I made him. I, I pressed the wrong skill. I, I haven't turned on the flow for the riding wave as well. Ooh, 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 ooh. Very painful. Fast recovery. I, I can't land a full combo. My god, man. He recovered instantly from two Judgment of the Sea. And I'm just dead here. What in the world, man? Damn it. If you make one mistake against Yacha, you're pretty much dead, guys. Like, just so you know. Like, the fast recovery there. Oh my god. Okay, we're fighting Rouge again. Um, this time, we will implement the strategy that we had just now. Okay. He's gonna use Phoenix Wings. Alright. I think she's dead here. Oh no, 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 she, I thought she was gonna get caught from the trap. I probably should have done, uh, I, I kind of mispressed there, I actually clipped her, but... This is not bad. Wait, what? I press my, my my descending tide, it will not come out. Alright. Yes. <laughs> Need to change the tempo a little bit there, because she was starting to not do anything when I use Flying Wave. It shows that someone got to your tempo if, like, when you use Flying Wave and someone does nothing, he's just, like, standing there. It means, like, she, they already know your, your tempo, and you need to change that in order to clip them, like, um, like suddenly you you change the the, the, the tempo of the uh, flying wave from like fast to slow from slow to fast All right, I'll try to land a full combo here 
that's if I manage to there you go yep about 60% give or take very nice once you have this much HP advantage you just want to dry them out and trade when someone's at around this HP you will almost for certain like win trades but I, I, I don't want to like win against this I want to win against someone who's a lot more gritty all right we're against Ray the hunters all right let us do this this guy is a rusher so we have to be very careful I told you guys this guy's a rusher All right, let me stall this guy a little bit. Okay. All right, we'll just We'll stall out all of his super armor. There we go. How did I get knocked down there? Alright. That's it, guys. That's it. That's all the victory that we need for, for today. Um, by the way, to everyone who's watching, if you guys like Corsair, Corsair is still a very viable class. I did not say that it, this class is bad in the last tier list because it is not bad. It's a really good class, guys. Um, I think aside from fighting particular classes, I don't think you have any problems like fighting most classes in general. It really hard counters almost um, for guard heavy classes like Gladi, uh, what else? Gladi GMs. This class is just so good against those those classes. It's um, it's kind of unreal to be honest. Just how good this class is. It also hard counters like grab heavy classes like Sura and stuff. And the problem with why is because this class has really good SA rotation. It has really good uh, phase on the flying wave. It's just overall a really good class. I think I only lost about five times in the past like 30, 40 minutes of the the uh, the, uh, the arena gameplay in general. So I think you can particularly we can pretty much say that uh, this class is really really good. And this is me haven't played the class since January or December. Uh, it's like um, I think I've only played in total like a total total of the. I think I've only played roughly around 30 Corsair matches before this video is made since the first time Corsair is released until now. I've only played about 30 games in total. Around 25 of them was during uh, when Corsair was first released and maybe 5 um, around December. And I just leave pretty much Corsair data to Halbert because he plays the class very well. He likes the class a lot, so regarding Corsair data, I pretty much just let Halbert do his thing and take the data from him. Um, but if you guys like this class, it's a really good class as you can see. This class is a really good class, um, very little weaknesses, and uh, this is one of those few classes that don't get absolutely destroyed by Huntress or Yacha. This class can somewhat fare with those classes. So if you guys really enjoy today's video, please do uh, put us something in the comment section if you guys want to subscribe go ahead if you guys don't want to it's perfectly fine if you guys want to like the video i appreciate it if you don't want to it's fine as usual if um, you guys want a guide for Corsair let me know and I'll probably ask Hubbard to make a guide for it because there's no way I'm making a guide for Corsair so if I'm gonna upload a Corsair guide it's probably one from Hubbard or maybe Enid or someone else Thank you for watching and I'm going to see you guys again very very soon. Thank you for watching guys.